Hello, comrade. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. In the last episode, we went to great lengths to ensure that we had this uh, entire area up and running, and I am happy to report that the Potato Grad Big Field is about to bear fruit, along with uh, all of the other uh, fields which are shortly able to... Uh, gonna come to harvest? Come to harvest? Is that the technical term? I don't actually know. Um, it seems that we do have a combine harvester ready to go, uh, although unfortunately uh, the buses have managed to get themselves uh, in the way, which is a little bit of an issue. Uh, we need to fix these bus routes. Let's try and let's try and get them fixed on up. Uh, let's get from here to there. Sure, go there. Pick up some people. Will that make any difference? Same with you, to be honest. Uh, and rather than going to the big field, actually, could you instead go to the bus stop? There we go. Uh, yeah, so just pick up from the station. Do that. How about that? Is that fine? Yeah, that should be totally fine. Not quite sure why everyone's having a little bit of an issue with that. Um... Yeah, a little bit of a peculiar, peculiar problem to have. Okay, you're going to the bus platform small, that's great, and then go to the train station as well. Will you at least do something? You'll at least do something, that's great, because we're going to need workers to work in the food factory as well, so, so that's going to be kind of nice. Uh, we also need to get uh, a truck or a bus to uh, take the resources from the food factory, to the shops and where they need to go. Uh, also, you might note that we have a little bit more cash in the tank, money in the bank, so to speak. Uh, that's because I just let the game run for a little bit. I let the uh, the oil get us some money. I'm very, very hopeful, actually, that in today's episode, we're going to be able to, uh, to go after some steel. Steel is a very, very profitable endeavor, I have been told. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, in a little bit. However, for now, I want to try and see what we can sort out here. Uh, do we need to add... Like that over there, and then that over there, just like a bus platform, just... Yep, yeah, will that work? Certainly seems like it, it is working. Uh, yeah, and maybe once this bus is out of the field, then this bus is going to be able to turn around. Don't actually know about that, don't quote me. Oh, certainly looks that way. That's looking good. That is looking really good. We still need them. Um, we still need someone to go and uh, we still need a bus to go and deliver workers to the fields, but that's not going to be too much of a problem, I don't think. Uh, you can go from the Potato Grad train platform to the big field instead of the bus platform. There we go. All right, job done, right? Oh, hold on. Now it says that it is working. I still believe that there will need to be workers transported over here. Oh, no. Tell a complete lie. It looks like things are up and running. Uh, is a truck going to be dispatched to pick up the outlays of the combine harvester? Or is that uh, is that not going to happen? I would imagine so. I would imagine the truck is for transportation between the areas that the combine harvester harvest. Uh, also, I kind of want to get a little bit... Oh, yep, yeah, look, there the truck goes. I kind of want to get a few more combine harvesters because I suspect that all of these fields are going to be coming online and we want to take advantage of the fact that uh, they are all going to be coming online. However, it's also kind of nice that we only have one combine harvester and one truck, which sort of means... Which sort of means that we're kind of limiting our food output, if you know what I mean, which is quite nice. All right, you're going to be picking up a whole bunch of crops. That's great. I don't think we'll have any need to get any more trucks, at least for crop transportation. We are, as I say, going to need to get a truck to do food transportation. And speaking of, uh, we need to get ourselves we need to get ourselves a little bit of an access road. Let's not auto build it. All right. Let's do that. Let's see if it actually works. Right. Do we have the resources? Do we have the resources to be able to do this? 
Building is with a power supply. Yep, but that's fine. Assign a new construction here. Potato Grad unfinished road. Okay, I mean there is a there is a hope that it might actually be built. It may just happen. It may just happen. It doesn't actually need to be done right now, but it's gonna take a little while to to build itself anyway. So we're not really in any rush. Uh, let's buy a new a new vehicle. We need to get a vehicle that can carry food. Uh, I think that one can carry food. I clicked on it rather accidentally. I've got to be brutally honest. Uh, I don't really need to sell it though. Where is it? It's not a dumper truck. It's a covered truck, I guess. We're looking for a covered truck which carries a fair bit of food. Yeah, I think this is the this is the beast that we're after. To be honest, here we go. Get rid of that thing. Yeah, get rid of that thing as well. Did I just sell a bus? I didn't mean to sell a bus. It's fine. Right, go there. And then we want to get you to go to a grocery store, I suppose, don't we? Is that the grocery store? That is indeed the grocery store. To be honest, why don't we unload 50%? I mean, how many grocery stores do we actually have? I think we've only got two grocery stores. I should just move that across there. We've only got two grocery stores, but we do actually also have one big whatever you call it, shopping center. Right, so let's unload 10% of anything there. Then let's unload 60% of anything, and then we'll just unload the rest over there. That's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that, but bear in mind that this is going to be 100% of whatever is left. Uh, we should probably up that, actually, maybe to, like, 80, 80%. So therefore, it's like a 10, 80, 10 split. Which is pretty good, I think. Yeah, it is currently unreachable, but that's okay. We will we will uh, set that truck off once the road has been built. It's going to take a little while for us to get that road into a serviceable condition. But no worries, really, I don't think. Right. This is going well. Great. Have we actually made any food yet? We've not made any food yet. That's okay. Uh, we've not transferred any crops. That's that's also okay. You've got 8.9 tons of crops stored. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. The interesting thing is going to be what happens next. Potato Grad Big Field. Why are you not going to the train station? It's because there's a truck right there. That's really annoying. So this bus can't actually turn around until the truck gets out of the field. Hmm. Why is this the case? I just do not know. Uh, we'll have to see how the harvesting progress speeds up after the workers get access to the field. Not convinced that it is actually going to happen, but hey-ho. Wow, the cargo is worth 190 rubles. It's worthless. Utterly worthless. 21 workers on the construction site. And they're all leaving, apparently. I suspect because the dumper trucks are still coming. There we go. We got seven tons of gravel. But the workers are all going home. Honestly, completely understandable reaction. Uh, yeah, but in terms, of, uh, in terms of money, in terms of oil... Where am I looking? Over here. In terms of money and in terms of oil, things are actually going pretty darn well. Uh, ideally, I'd like to get just a few more, a few more workers uh, into the oil refinery at the same time. We've still got a, a little bit of a backlog over there. And I think that we've got pretty consistent amount of production coming in from all of these oil wells. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's looking a little... Building is without a power supply. Why do we not have a power supply over here? We do have a power supply right over there. Building is without power supply. Is that somehow being disconnected? That has indeed been disconnected. Honestly, that's on me. Uh, I'll fix that right now. There we go. Uh, I should just fund that with rubles. There we go. Sure. There we go. Now we got a power supply. Now we should have just that little bit more... Just that little bit more oil, which is quite nice. But yeah, oil is looking really, really good. Our oil production is is pretty darned high. We've got 400 tons of fuel 
saved up. Uh, everything's everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. What can I say? Uh, the only problem is that at the moment uh, we're just not making enough bitumen. I say we're not making enough bitumen because of the ratio that we make fuel at in comparison to bitumen. We're always going to have more fuel, which is fine, uh, but. The trains, for some reason, don't like it. Maybe we should reduce the fool status up to down to about 50%. Yeah, we'll see if that makes any difference. Because that should mean that as soon as we surpass... Mm, what? 270? 280? 280. No, just less than that. 270, 270 tons we should get there. So as soon as we hit 90 tons here... We should head off. But that's maybe just my bad maths. 200... Half of, half, of, half of 500 is 250. Half of 40 is 20. 270. 200, 270... 270 tons and we should be going. Apparently we're not going. So apparently it doesn't matter. Alright, load 100%. Whatever the case. It also doesn't really matter that we have three trains backlogged up here because we've got one more on the road, so to speak. Which is... Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. That's so much money. It's great. Uh, but I am just a little bit worried about the fact that we're just not getting that... We're just not getting enough bitumen. Uh, maybe we should have just, like, an exclusive fuel train. I'm thinking maybe an exclusive fuel train, like, once every so often might just help keep the ratio... A little bit better, a little bit smoother, so we don't overload on fuel. That's just a guess, though. Um, but, you know, on the whole, fuel production, bitumen production, it's all going pretty darn well. We've got a substantial amount of oil that we're just sort of collecting uh, as we go. So nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about there whatsoever. Is the gravel road almost built? Oh my goodness, it's about a third of the way done. We're still missing gravel, though. Slowly but surely. Nice! Look at this! We're making food. We are making food. There's 71 workers in the field. It doesn't seem to make this process go any quicker. Yeah, this is a very slow process that is clearly not... It doesn't scale with the number of workers that we actually have in this field. Which is fine. It's not a problem. Like We're not really in any rush to do that. What I am in a rush to do is get this road sorted. 37 out of 50 workers. That's pretty darn good going. We're just waiting for the gravel. How many? How much more gravel are we waiting? Are we waiting for 30? 30 tons. I mean, the gravel truck. Is that the gravel truck? No, that's not the gravel truck. The gravel truck is en route, I think. Yeah, the gravel truck is en route, and that's 12 tons. I mean, we could get another couple of dumper trucks. That probably wouldn't be the craziest idea in the world. That would probably help us just construct a little bit faster. Maybe, you know, instead of going absolutely crazy, why don't we just buy one more dumper truck? There we go. We'll buy one more dumper truck. I don't know if he's going to be dispatched to get more gravel. Looks like he will indeed go and get some more gravel. So that'll that'll help us. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The little piles of gravel gravel are being uh, are being turned into a road. Oh, that's fantastic. That is really really cool. Also, we're slowly but surely, we're slowly but surely becoming a heck of a lot richer, which I'm very happy about. And as soon as we accelerate into steel production, we're going to become even more rich, which is great. Okay, you need to go to the next stop. Just go to the next stop. I'm not going to worry about uh, having a little bit of a backlog of bitumen. Let's just get the next train in. Once the next train comes in, this is an exclusive fuel train. Load as much fuel up as we possibly can, and we'll be happy with that. Tremendously happy with that, I've got to say. The other question that we're going to have to answer before we set up steel production is, first of all, where do we want to get steel production set up? Uh, steel production is a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a continuation of what we've already been doing. 
so we're talking here uh, iron mine and then an ore processing plant it's gonna be very very difficult to build without building from rubles so that's 97 grand to get that set up we've just about got that in the bank and then that's 169 all right, that's, we've also got that in the bank at the moment, but we don't have both in the bank at, at present. Uh, so this will extract the iron. That will turn the iron into iron ore with just the addition of power, which is fine. And then I think we need to stick it through a steel mill. Now that requires coal and iron. Both of those resources we already have, uh, and that requires 500 workers. So the problem with that is putting it in a position which is relatively central and allows us to get workers directly because I would very 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 much like to get workers to walk directly to where they need to be uh, maybe we could demolish this area and put a steel plant over here and then maybe transport the steel via cargo train to the to the cargo train station out there. Um, I, I had a little look around before the episode started. I'm not going to do this at night because it's just really irritating to see. Uh, but if we have a little look at where the iron mine is. In fact, you know, maybe it works better during the night. Maybe I take it back. Uh, there is a, a smidgen of iron over here. All of this iron will have to be transported via a uh, truck, I suspect. Which is not necessarily a problem. But it would obviously be nicer if we could just get it get it moved via conveyor belts but that's again as i say not a problem so it's going to require a pretty significant amount of infrastructure to set up that's our half bitumen half fuel train this is our 100 percent fuel train over here and to be honest we've still got a lot of fuel in the tank you know what, let's set you up to do 100 percent fuel as well fuel is of course less valuable than bitumen but we make more of it, so it's fine. I'm still absolutely shocked how we've actually managed to make money. Sometimes I manage to surprise even myself. But yeah, good. So let's drain the tank of fuel. Let's get that all sorted. And once we've got that all sorted, then we'll be we'll be great. We'll be grand. Not worried. Not worried. Not worried at all. Uh, we are still making boards. We've still got prefab panels. I, I don't even know what the point of making boards is if we're not going to sell them, to be honest. We're just going back and forth with a whole bunch of board. Which is a little bit irritating, but hey-ho. How's our, how's our road looking? Our road is looking pretty darn good. I think we've done it. I think that's the first... I think that's the first thing that we've actually built. I say that. I don't think we've done it quite yet. We need a little bit more gravel. But once we have, we'll be fine for food. Goodness gracious me, this crop harvesting is taking a long time. Whoa, hold up. There's... Where's half the field gone? Are these crops degrading? Oh no. The crops degrade. Oh no, wait, hold on. The workers are harvesting them by hand? Oh, darn, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's actually legitimately fine. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. That's good with me. Uh, where's our last dumper truck? We should have one last dumper truck of gravel. Yeah, it's right here. It's getting filled up with gravel, which is great. Okay, that's good. Um, should we place the first the first bit of the iron mining process? I feel like we should. I know we're a little bit uh, hamstrung for cash at the moment, but, you know, it's a price I'm willing to pay. Right, so. Let's do this. We need flat terrain, but we should be able to... Oh, no. We need to free excavator our, at our construction office. Ah, that's a little bit of an annoyance because we do have a free excavator at our construction office. However, I think we need two. That might just be hearsay, though. Well, let's follow the gravel truck and then... 
we should be fine. Where's the last... There's the, there's one last truck of gravel that's going to come. Ah, I see it. Right here. Right through the center of town. Of course, dragging mud and gravel all through town. I'm not worrying about it, though. The sooner we get it to the place where it needs to go, the better, because that'll allow the excavator to get back to the office, and then it'll also allow us to start up uh, that food transportation route, which I talked about previously. Right, there we go. Great. Happy days. We've got all of the resources on site. We've got the workers on site. That's very, very good. We built our first road. Admittedly, it took us about 15,000 years. But in the intervening time, we've gained money. That's made me happy. That's great. And the, 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 the people have just disappeared. That's great. That's fine. The, the, the equipment on site has just disappeared. Let's go. Uh, this can transport 6.5 tons of food. We're already maxing out food production. Honestly, that's fine. Uh, I'm fine with just having one storage point at the moment. How much food can a grocery store store if a grocery store could store groceries? That's the real question. Uh, purchase resources for rubles. Let's bring that down. 0 0.5 tons. Yep. So, let's purchase even fewer resources. There we go. Reduce clothes as well. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? Limiting the amount. Alright, fine. Whatever. That's, that's fine. And this grocery store over here, we're also going to adjust and put that down to 0 0.5 tons. Just to make sure that when we do unload our food resources into the grocery stores, we'll have enough we'll have enough space to let all of the, the resources out, so to speak. But crops are looking pretty darn good. The problem is probably going to be transporting the resources that need to be transported from the crop fields to the factory. Yeah, but this whole process is looking is looking pretty is looking pretty darn good. This is our this is our food sorted. I'm relatively hopeful that we're going to now be able to produce enough food. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but we're at least going to have to see. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what happens. So this this thing carries, what is it, 6.5 tons of food? And so it should unload, like, what, half a ton or something? Maybe just under half a ton? Not a lot, but it is something. And by doing it like this, we absolutely make sure that we have all of the food where it needs to be in order of priority. Um, I'm thinking that we may be able to splurge out and get ourselves a second truck to do deliveries. To do food deliveries, that is. If we were able to do that, that would be really, really nice. Look at that. Look at how much food we got. You know what? You know, this is how confident I am. We're not purchasing any food. We're not going to purchase any food whatsoever. People are either going to go hungry, or I'm going to deliver a heck of a lot of food. Uh, in order to make sure that the people don't actually go hungry, uh, that's it is actually something that I do care about, believe it or not. Let's get some... Not these ones. Let's get some covered hull trucks. Let's get some more of those bad boys. Let's click on the truck that we're looking to do the journey, which is right here. And let's copy the route to... Both of these trucks. There we go. Start you. And start you. Okay, great. So, we should now be totally fine for food. As long... As long as we can, can keep up food production. That's going to be the important thing. We've got 23 tons of crops. We've got a heck of a lot of... Uh, 
a heck of a lot of stuff. We've got a heck of a lot of we got a heck of a lot of crops in these fields. I feel like we've placed just the right number of fields uh, for the job. Honestly, this is good. This is really really good. So now the sewing process is going to start. The heart, uh, the sewing process on this is just about to start as well. We could probably do with getting another another truck to collect, but that's okay. I think that's this. This is all fine. Uh, what I do want to do, however, though, is is there a way for me to get a? I know we've just built this wonderful road. There's a factory connection here. If I could build a factory connection through there and perhaps get a warehouse. Yeah, you know what? I think I am actually going to do this. How much is a warehouse going to set me back? Seventeen thousand rubles. To be honest, it's a price that I'm willing to pay. Uh, the demolition is going to be free, but I should have thought of this before I built our first lovely road. But it is actually important that now that I'm going after... Uh, now that I'm going after soul food production, we need to make sure... We need, need, need to make sure that we can guarantee the food security of our citizens. Right, uh, let's just auto-complete from dollars. This can auto-complete from dollars as well. And then that road that I oh so lovingly built, we're going to build with dollars as well. There we go. Okay, looking good. So that means that hopefully we'll be able to make this work. You're going to be a little bit lost. That's okay. Uh... Remove that, and then instead remove the where. Uh, instead, add the warehouse. There we go. Go to the warehouse. Okay, and then let's copy to the other vehicles, and everyone should be found, right? There we go. Perfect. Works an absolute charm. Let's get you to go to the warehouse, and let's get you to go to the warehouse, and then we'll start the schedules all over again. Beautiful. Right, at the moment, the annoying thing is, is that we've not actually transferred that much food into the warehouse, which means that you're going to be picking up relatively little. No, you need to be loading. Are all of these guys loading? Uh, no. There we go. Load. Load only. Perfect. Right, so I couldn't have done a worse job, actually, in terms of making sure that our that my citizens don't starve. Uh, honestly, that's on me, that one. However, it's fine. It's fine. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking absolutely perfect. Uh, yeah, we don't have anyone in the shops because... No one's, no one's eaten. We also need to make sure that we build some churches. How do I build churches? I don't think I've ever built a church. Do I want to build a church? It's an education build. Isn't it an education building? No residential. Hospital, pollution monitoring center, fire station, television station. Television st station. Interesting. We might want to do that. Ah, where is the church? Clothing industry? No. Honestly, it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, um, what we can now do, what we can now do, wonderfully, is we can start working on steel. You know what, we're only, we're only 30 minutes into the episode, but that's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, yes, so, iron mine, we want an iron mine to go roughly centrally over here. Yeah, pretty much right there, to be honest. We need a free excavate. Oh. Right, we do have a free excavation uh, machine thing, but the problem is it's probably quite far away from the excavation area. So I'm just going to burn through like 3,000 rubles. You know what? Things happen. These things happen. All right, it's a lot of money to spend, but it's fine. 
Uh, we're now going to need a, an aggregate uh, storage. I also need to make sure that we get workers up to this area. Are oh, whoops. Uh, is there any is there any footpath connection? Even if there's not a footpath connection, I think we can still survive. There's not a footpath connection, which means that we're going to need to get a road connection. Which, you know, I don't hate that route, to be honest. The issue is, is that we're going to need to get some buses set up, and buses running this long route is going to take some effort. Um, what about getting some buses out this way? You know, let's build that. Let's get that built. And then... Let's. Oh man, this is this is a. It's going to be a tough job. It's actually not going to be too difficult to build the road, but yeah, it's not going to be too difficult to build the road, but it is going to be a little bit of an annoyance to get the road to where we want it to go. All right, I get. I guess we can get it to. Um, fine, whatever. There we go. I guess we can get it to cross the track right about there. It's pretty good going. Uh, you know what? That didn't actually end up costing us too much money. It ended up working. That's that's pretty darn good. Uh, so we need to get a power supply set up over here. That's actually relatively easy to do in terms of um, what we're, what we're going to do. Is there any way that I can extend the train line? I'm trying to do my I'm trying to do my thinking and I can't really do much good quality thinking when the uh, when the when the game is in night mode. I mean I did I did just go and build a very very I say very very expensive a gravel area. Now, if I was to extend the train track up this way, is there any possibility? Let's not get it to auto build quite yet. We can always go back and fix that. I need prefab panels in order to build a railway. It's news to me. To be honest, that would actually be fine. Kind of want to, you kind of want to cross there. I mean, it would be much easier if I just took it down straight down here. But I mean, I'm assuming that I actually might be able to make this a possible, might be able to make this a uh, this dream a reality. Connect that up there. You know what? I think that we should try this. I think that we should try this. Let's. Uh, Delete this. Take this back, take this back, take this back. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit annoying to get this in place. But I'm not too worried about it, because that's the road that I just built. If we can keep that road as is for now, then that's fine. Hey, you know what? That actually just remarkably works. Um, which is very, very good. Oh look, we've got new signals! I didn't even realize. I did not even realize. The game has been updated and there are now new signals. That's fantastic. Uh, okay, so... Even if we did this, even if we did this and put a station... Like, here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Even if we put a train station there, right? Are, first of all, are we able to get this round at the right angle? Yeah, we are. Train platform small. You know, I'm, I'm thinking with a small train platform, we actually might be totally fine here. Right. 
This is kind of important because... Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be... This is going to be a total faff. I can just detect it. Now, this is when it should be working, but it just doesn't. Right, uh, delete this. We'll take it back a little bit and we'll try again. Now, the reason that I want to do this is because this forms kind of an important part of the future developments of this city. Because if we do this, let's do that. Oh, beautiful. We can, we can make it work. That's perfect. Does that connect up? I think that, that, that actually does. Uh, so... The reason that we need to do this is because it allows us to uh, bring online this entire area, so to speak, in terms of uh, production. Uh, we're still probably going to have to run a bus or, you know, two, but I've I've got two buses stockpiled here for, uh, for probably just the job, actually. So we can get you to go from there all the way up to there. Perfect. That, that'll, that'll be, you know, what, whatever it is, 100 workers. So let's get that up and running. Let's get that built. Okay, perfect. That did set us back a pretty penny. But that's okay. We're also going to need to buy a brand new train. I'm going to buy a... Whatever it is. One of these things. Yeah, these things are absolutely value for money. I know I've been using other types. I mean, this, for example. This is a horrific waste of money. Honestly. It only carries 217 workers. I really dislike it. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter because we'll just get that up to there and then this up to there. Okay, um, let's give it a let's give it a start. Let's see let's see how it goes. I don't think that this connection, this road connection here, has broken anything. I think that honestly, that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, I think that that's all good. We're actually remarkably fine everywhere. Beautiful. Fuel trains are about to leave as well. That's a 100% fuel train. Why have we not got that much fuel? I suspect because we've just worn it all down. That's fine. Honestly, that's okay. We're making so much. We're making so much that it's just going so well. That's great. That's really, really good. Uh, food, we're doing okay for, I think. Yep, we got a little bit of food there. We got a lot of food over there. Oh man, we have managed to actually get our food in order. That's looking good. That's looking really, really good. Everything is looking remarkably smooth with regards to, to food production. As long as we can keep up uh, the sowing and harvesting and all of that nonsense, as long as we can keep that up, I think our food production is going to tick on just nicely. And we might even start to develop a little bit of a, a little bit of a surplus. Man, I'm really happy with that. I was not expecting it to be as smooth as it actually uh, turned out to be. Well, that's great. That's really, really good. Anyway, uh, let's set up the iron properly. Uh, we want it to go from... Uh, first of all, I need to delete that. Uh, we want it to go from here and just transport up to there. That's pretty much it, to be honest. Copy the schedule of the vehicle. Paste it on there. Beautiful. And start. Alright, now I think that two buses will be ample. Uh, ample supply for the number of workers that we need to transport around here, but... That might not be the case. We'll have to we'll have to take a judgment call on that as we go. Let's see what we've got. We've got zero passengers over here. That's not super ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, also, this area, this area can now maybe play host to the uh, to the whatever you call it, the the big steel treatment plant, because we still need to get the next. We still need to get the next piece of uh, iron infrastructure, which is the ore processing plant. Now, ideally, we want to have a large aggregate storage somewhere here, so we can just receive a whole bunch of coal into here. But that depends on where we want to put the iron processing plant, the iron ore processing plant. I mean... Putting it over here would not be the craziest thing in the world. Now that we've got this whole thing, this whole area set up to uh, to receive transports of people, it's a little bit hilly. But to be honest, our our costs are so low anyway when it comes to 
when it comes to moving stuff around. Let's try and aim to put the iron ore processing area right about here. Because then I think that means that we're still going to be within walking distance. Still within walking distance of the platform over there. Right. You know what? 2,000 rubles to flatten a mountain. It's a pretty darn good deal, to be honest, isn't it? Right, so that's an important piece of infrastructure. Let's get the large aggregate storage set up as well. Large aggregate storage. We're kind of a little bit limited because we need to get it sort of fit in between the two areas. As in, you know, we need to get it fit in between the iron mine and also between the processing plant, the ore processing plant. It's a little bit of a more expensive endeavor. Uh, let's pause that there as well. And then let's get a, whatever it's called, uh, the uh, infrastructure conveyors, conveyor engine transfer. Let's get that set up here. There we go. Then let's set up a bunch of conveyors just to make sure that it absolutely works. Oh, that's the input over there. Ah, that's the output. Hmm. Not going to get any money back from this now. I still think this is okay. We get another engine transfer over here. See if we can connect that up. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It's not perfect. It's not pretty, but it does actually work. Uh, we need to get power over here, but that's fine. Okay, good. Also, one of the most important bits of infrastructure that we need to also deploy is... There we go. That. Perfect. Great. Have we got production over here yet? We don't have production over here yet. We don't have any workers. We do not have any workers yet. We're still waiting on workers. That's fine. Our money is still draining at a very, very rapid rate, but at least that's the majority of the iron infrastructure set up. Yeah, okay. At least one of these days we're going to be able to build all of our buildings ourselves. I mean, once we get steel, once we got steel in combination with prefab panels, it's pretty darn good going, actually. Uh-oh, uh what's going on here? Why on earth would this... Okay, hold up. This is a this is a bit of a problem. Uh, now there are new signals, which is lovely. However, the problem with new signals is that I'm not entirely convinced that I know how to operate them. Right. Go here. Go there for now. Why are you finding this so difficult? What, what is going on here? Go there. You want to go there? This is not... Cool? You are now managing, though. Okay, good. I'm going to connect this up just for the sake of simplicity. Okay, good. Now, let's place... Let's place that there. Fine. Now go to... No. No. Turn around. And now go to this train station. There we go. Speaking of this train station, cannot be reached from any residential building or factory. There is no road or food path connection or the buildings are too distant. Uh, 
I mean, that shouldn't be a problem if we've got a bus service, right? Alright, also, I feel like... So that's a chain. That's a chain uh, signal, which is that. That's what we need, right? Oh no, now you can't get back out. Um, that's a bit of hot nonsense. Alright, here's what we do. Remove that, remove that. That's a chain. There we go. Okay, so now that should work a little bit better. Hopefully no confusion there. We should probably get like a little bypass to go around the side there, but if we can't get that set up, no worries. I also should probably sell these trains. There's there's absolutely no reason that I have them. Also, we should do something with this oil, but I just don't want to spend that much money all over again just to, to get more oil. We're doing fine for oil right now. Man, I'm so happy with how our food's going. I say I'm happy with how our food's going. Have we got any food? They're all growing. They're all grown 100%. Oh, we are harvesting. There's just no workers here. Okay. So you go to the big field. Hold on. Why don't you go to here? Not, not suitable as a stop? I wish we could set it as a stop. Honestly. Um, that would be much more impressive. Can I just set all of those points as a stop? Will that make any difference? Are you all going to get out here? There's no workers that can get out there. Alright. That's fun. Still not in not entirely sure why we can't just drop people off here and then they can all be dispatched to where they need to go. It would certainly make things a heck of a lot faster. Uh, the other alternative is maybe we just get ourselves another combine harvester and another truck. Yeah, that should make a difference. Alright, so you are going to go all the way over here now. That's great. Uh, we don't want you to go to to there. Have you got any workers on board? You don't have any workers on board. That's a bit of nonsense. Maybe if we connect up a walkway, will that make a shred of difference? Should make a little bit of difference. And you know what? Let's also make another another little modification here. Maybe this will make things just that little bit better. What I'm looking for is a bus station. Uh, d -d 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 should be here. Yeah, that one. Bus a bus platform. That's the one. Okay, so. Great. It's very, very cheap. 4,300 rubles. Which is not very much. Get that linked up. Great. And let's get you to go to the bus platform instead of picking up directly from the train, uh, the train platform. Honestly, just wait at the bus platform. There you go. That's fine. Okay, so now we should be able to carry some workers, right? And I want you to go there and there. 50%, to be honest. No, we need way more people going to the bus platform. The ore processing plant needs, like, honestly, about 10% of people. Alright, so miraculously we've managed to create some sort of a hybrid Frankenstein system. That should now end up working. Oh, also, this is going to be a colossal problem. You know what? 
Go to the depot. Turn around. Oh, no, you can't get into the depot from that point, can you? Well, that's annoying. Where are you going? Why are you... You don't have any fuel on you. How have we suddenly run out of fuel to carry? Building is without a power supply? Whenever there is no power supply, whenever there is no power supply to the... Yeah, this is a problem. Why are you going there? Okay, fine. I see I see why you're doing it now, but it's very irritating. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a problem because that means that we don't have a power supply. Hmm. And I don't think there's any way to fix it, really, is there? I mean... The pre-signal? And then we have sort of like the final signal? Over there. And then also that over there. Will that make a difference? I'm convinced this is bound to cause confusion. But this is me trying to get my head around the new signals. Right. Can I place a signal on this track here? Why not? feel like this should definitely be allowed here, but whatever. Alright. Not gonna cry about it too much. We'll see if it works, right? Seems to be working fine for now. Have we got workers on board this train now? Hurrah! 25 workers, 70 passengers. Why would 70 passengers want to go out to the middle of the sticks? Doesn't really make sense to me, but that's that's fine. Right, you know what? Go there. No, in fact, you know what? Go here. This is the train with 100% fuel. You know, turn around and go to your depot. Because I want to sell off one of these trains. I think we've only got three trains? So there's this train right here, which is close by. Which is heading to the depot. Then there's this train over there as well. How many trains have we actually got on this route? Yeah, we got four. We got four trains on this route. I feel like we should get rid of one of our fuel trains. First of all, that'll free up a little bit of spare cash, but also I'm just sick and tired of dealing with trains over here. And this is going to be a massive problem if we have trains constantly sitting over this junction. All right, I guess you could just like walk through them. That's fine too. I'm just, I really want to just start production over here. I'm also conscious of the fact that I don't actually have power set up yet. Let's do that right now whilst the going is good. I say whilst the going is good. Whilst we have the opportunity to do so. There we go. Literally as easy as that. That's literally it. Yep. But the building is without a power supply because there are no workers here. Yeah, but there should now be workers, right? Nope. There are not. Do I do the same as what I've done? You know what? Like, let's do this. I, I think what we need to do is we just need to start using bus stations much more liberally, right? We need to start using bus stations more liberally in order to make sure that we just have a more consistent flow of people. 
Bus platform small. Yep. Just like that. Just like here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Need flat terrain. Delete some of that. Delete some of that. Ah, uh, whatever. It's going to be a pain to reconnect, but it always is. There we go. Bus platform small. Are you kidding me, really? Why is there always infrastructure in the way? I suppose this is literally a mountain that we're building this on. Is there no way that this will actually work? Come on. Wait, hold on. Is that a... No. Right. I mean, maybe there's space out this side? Because if we don't have a consistent supply of workers to the power plant, then we end up with all sorts of problems. Right. There we go. Okay, so this. This is going to be it. I don't want to faff around with buses for much longer. Can't build you to infrastructure. Can't build you to infrastructure. Really? Oh, there's a sweet spot. I am shocked that the footprint needed for this bus station is as large as it actually is. But whatever. Whatever. Right, let's get some gravel roads built up nice and pronto. If I have to if I have to worry about this too much, I might just cry. No. No, 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 no. So we've got two different road networks now. The trick is gonna be combining them into one road network. I also want to connect up. This power line? Can't connect two different types of wire? Really? It's just out with the realm of human possibility to do something that outrageous, is it? Whatever. Oh, it's so close. It's so close to doing it. Oh. You will. You will as well. Great. Right, let's get all that built. And the most important part of this entire operation is going to be the footpath. It's going to be the footpath between here and there. And it works just beautifully. It's like a sign. That's perfect. Okay, uh, yep, sure, but I also want to add maximum number reached. Bus platform, small four. Yeah, let's bump the number up there. Let's bump it up to like 50%. Sure. And then you are going to go from don't go don't go from the train station go from the bus platform no 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 the bus the bus platform yeah yeah the bus platform there don't go to the train station this is just so annoying to do but it needs to be done right you're still going from the train station again We'll redo that. And you're now going from where you need to go to from where you need to go. Okay, perfect. So nobody should be using the train station anymore. Uh, we should hopefully be telling everyone to go to the bus station. And then everyone can sort of be shipped out from there. That's the plan anyway. The plan as it stands. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. The whole thing is fine. 25 workers waiting. That's okay. Everyone should go to the bus station. Am I right? That's great. That that just works exactly as intended. All right. This is spectacular. This is absolutely spectacular. We should have the maximum number of workers in here. Great. And power is resumed. That's great. That's really, really good. That's really, really good for us. Have we made a single bit of iron yet? Oh my goodness. Just... 
How have we not? How is this not working? How is this not working? Is this just one of these? Oh, this is just disgusting. I wish there was just a signal which said ignore the signal. Right. There we go, fine. So now, oh my, oh my goodness, really? 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 What, what are the chances of just when I was sorting a very specific problem? The only thing... Oh, goodness me. You went very fast there. That is very, very fast. All right, now you're going to turn around. You're going to go in the direction that I want you to. This is just this is just one of those things, right? We're we're going to be able to we're going to be able to do a heck of a lot more with a whole bunch more money. But more importantly, we're going to have less congestion on the railways, and we're going to be it's going to be much easier to make this whole thing work. Uh, how the heck did this end up happening? And that's in the wrong direction. There we go. Will that clear things up? Any, any what? Hold on. Yeah, how... How, how are you s still not working here? It's because there's a signal right here, isn't there? Yeah, not really getting the whole issue here. I think this area needs to be somewhat redone. Yeah, okay. Place a signal there. Place a signal there. I'm just going to get rid of that one. That was stupid. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that should work a little bit smoother, I'm hoping. We're going to be able to fill this train up with a lot of a lot of oily goodness, which is what we're really after, right? Okay, finally. Okay, we're sitting, we're sitting proud on, you know, about 500,000 units of currency, which is pretty darn good. Have we started transporting workers around yet? Yes, we have. Uh, what do you know? We're going to be dropping workers off very, very soon. Why are they all going in the wrong direction? Some went into the ore processing plant. That's kind of garbage for me. I don't actually need that. Store iron. Sure. Quality of the source is very, very low. I know it's very, very low. There's not much that I can actually do about that. However, we should be carrying 14 workers, right? Oh, joy upon joys. There is yet another train to get in our way. How is it that there is no ability to move up closer here? This is an absolute scandal. Okay, the train is now moving. That's great. That's what matters, right? It's 48 passengers waiting there. That's good. Passengers are picking up people here. Great. Workers are being picked up. Everyone's being picked up. That's good. Are we still supplying food? Yeah, you know what? We are. Mostly. I say mostly. We're mostly fine for food. Well, well... We're not exactly in an ideal place when it comes to food, but hey-ho. How are we doing for crops? We got no crops. It's a bit of the problem, I suppose, isn't it? All right, we are harvesting. Are we harvesting two places at once? No, we're only harvesting one place at once. Even though I have two harvesters. Hmm. 
I've got two harvesters and I got two trucks specifically for this reason. Oh no, we are harvesting two places at once. But the problem is, is that we can't get any extra help from workers. That's fine. Uh, honestly, maybe we get a, a third harvester. A third harvester might just give us that little bit extra that we need. I don't like how many harvesters we've got on the whole, but it's too many, I think. But it'll work out. It'll all work out. It's fine. Alright, things are looking good. We've sort of stabilized. We've sort of dealt with some of the issues that we had. 23 workers and 73 passengers. I mean, honestly, I only care about passengers. Just, just give me workers. Load only passengers. Literally just workers. Unload everyone. But we should now be producing, right? Yes, beautiful. We're producing. Which is perfect. Oh, that's what I meant to store. Iron ore is what I meant to store. Absolutely did not mean to store iron. It's fine. Doesn't particularly matter. Don't think we lost out on any production there. That's good. Things are looking good. Things are looking good here. Uh, we don't have any workers at present, but that's okay because they're going to be able to walk to the building, I believe. Some of them are going to walk anyway. Let's bump that up. 22%, sure. There we go. One worker. Fantastic. What do you know? We've actually accomplished our mission. We've now managed to turn iron ore into iron. Well, that's just fantastic. Uh, the next struggle, and it is going to be a struggle, is going to be to get that iron out into some place that is not super mountainous, that we're going to be able to process it into steel. But the good news is, is that we're just one step away. We are one silly little step away. It's the steel mill. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, we need coal as well, which is part of the reason why I built this road. I know I didn't talk about it, but this massive road that you can see that's underneath the mouse. Uh, that is uh, that is going to be the road that helps connect coal up. Now, this needs a lot of power. Now, I don't think that we can actually produce that much power. Need flat terrain? I mean, terrain over here is pretty darn close to being flat. So no way that I can perhaps turn it around a little bit. Do something fancy over here. Can't build you to infrastructure. Man, that would be so good if we could could have plonked that in there. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to think exactly about where we put that where we put that plant. I'm currently thinking that honestly we just use trucks to transport this uh, iron. We'll get an aggregate storage. Uh, we'll get a aggregate storage. Large aggregate store. We'll just get that stuck out like here, I think. Yeah, sure. We'll do that like there. And then if we can't connect this with one conveyor, we'll just stick down an engine transfer area thingy in the center. Building in the way? Really? Alright, whatever. There we go. There we go, and what do you know? Pretty simply, um, we end up with uh, we end up with an area where we store a whole bunch of uh, of resources, which is great. We're storing a whole bunch of iron. Lovely. Uh, I do want to link this up to a uh, to like a truck aggregate unloader thing, whatever you call it, a truck conveyor unloader. Looking good, looking good. This is fantastic. This is great. We're actually processing quite a quite a lot of iron. Uh, it's slightly problematic the fact that we've got. Ooh, it's a lot of passengers that just got transferred there. Uh, it's slightly problematic, the fact that we just don't have enough 
We just don't have enough workers coming through. It's quite a slow train that we've got, so it takes a little bit longer to get where we need to go. 53 workers. How many workers are over here? 47 workers. Getting picked up by something else, by the bus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these buses are confusing things. I don't love this setup that we've got going on here. I mean... Yeah. I mean... Pretty certain that most of these... Most of these flats, with the exception of some of these ones, are able to access walking distance of a train station. So this bus platform does not really need to be there at all. We'll need to think about moving that, but I think that's a job for the next episode, truthfully. Uh, speaking of, though, we've got a number of workers waiting. 52 workers loaded up into the bus. Presumably we've got 15 workers over here. That's great. That looks fantastic. And, yeah, as I say, we're having no difficulties whatsoever. Uh, collecting a bunch of iron. The real, the real, 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 real problem, the real conundrum is going to be where on earth do we stick this stupid Hulkin steel mill? Maybe somewhere like over here? Can't build due to infrastructure? Honestly, that might not be the craziest place to do it in the world. I know we're still going to need to truck the resources over there via, via truck. But actually... Tell a lie. Well, how much how much coal do we need? We need more coal than we need uh, than we need iron. I don't suppose there's a coal source nearby, is there? There is a coal source nearby, but in order to make that work, we're going to need more people, and I don't really want to do that. To be honest, this is an entirely credible proposal. If we were to if we were to place it like right here. And then move the aggregate storage for the iron out to this side. And then connect up the conveyor belts. I'm going to do it, you know. I have no idea how many workers we're actually going to need. Maximum workers per day, 500. That's quite a lot. Uh, you know, wherever we were going to place it, it was always going to be a bit of a pain to do. But I think, honestly, this way of doing it is probably the best. I'm going to leave the aggregate storage here for now. And just truck the iron ore over to where it needs to go. Uh, we need to get a... Yeah, that there. That's, that's pretty much perfect, you know? We're going to need some more buses in order to bus people from there to, to here. But that's not going to be too darn difficult to do. I'll do that now. Whilst I still have money. Okay. Let's just get it set up. There to... Oh, really? Alright, well, whatever the case. We'll do that in a little bit. Uh, so that's that. Power... We can... Hmm. Power we send over to this area. However, we can just as easily get a... Power switch right in the middle here. A high voltage, high voltage power switch. High voltage switch. There we go. Simple as that. High voltage wires. Connect that up. Connect that up. No extra wire required. Angle of connection is too sharp. There we go. Should be smooth as a cucumber, right? It works. I don't know why the angle of the connection is too sharp. Just create like a right angle wire, I guess. That would be my rationale to that situation, but you know, whatever. And then we are going to need like a fleet of trucks to transport stuff around. I mean, in fact, it might even be worth us setting up another road vehicles depot up here purely because of the number of trucks that we're going to need to buy. Uh, however, We've already got a road vehicle depot, and it'll have to do for now. Let's get some dumpers. Four dumpers. 
sure. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, coal unloading, which is there. And then we'll just take it. Oh, we can't take anything. Okay, we can't do anything at the moment. Well, at least we've at least we bought them, right? If we bought the trucks, then that means we can't lose the money. Uh, there is still a large chance that we don't have enough money to continue this project. I am conscious of that fact. If we got a little bit of extra fuel saved up, not really. We've certainly not got a lot of money in the tank. We might technically run dry. And if we do, is that the end of the world? Not really. Can we finish a contract that we started in rubles? Or sorry, can we finish a contract in dollars that we started in rubles? Great question. No idea if that's the case or not. 83 workers coming up here. We're certainly going to need to get another train service if that's the case. If, if we do end up uh, completing this with the amount of money that we've got in the tank. I don't think we will though. But at least we've got iron production up and running. We're making a heck of a lot of iron and it's all being turned rather neatly into uh, into iron, or sorry, we're, we're turning iron ore rather neatly into just regular iron. That's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so a bunch of workers waiting. Wonderful. Shouldn't have any difficulties there. Yep, we ran out of money. Uh, cancel the contract, finish on your own, and then fund construction from dollars, $101,000. Wowzers, that's a lot of that's a lot of dollary dues. I mean, I think if we let this train wherever it is, there is one train that we just that was just dispatched to the edge of the map. Is this it here? It's valued at sixty one thousand dollars. Fund construction from rubles. Not enough money to finance the building. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer. Not gonna lie. A little bit demoralizing to see that message flash up, but it is what it is, right? We've pretty much got everything sorted over here. Uh, we've got the coal trucks bought. We've got the iron trucks bought. Uh, the only other thing that we're going to need to deal with is the... Oh, actually, this is a good point. Uh, auto fund from dollars. Yeah, let's do... Let's do... Let's do this. Because we need to get... We need to find a way of making this cross here. If not, the journey for coal will be way too long. There we go. Too much descent. I think this is going to be a tough... This is going to be a tough sell. Apparently not. We managed that with ease. With a plum. Okay, so that truck, that truck, that train is going to arrive. That has got nowhere near enough resources on it. But this train does. This train has got a lot of resources on it. That's great. So that's the construction maybe going to be finished. Goodness gracious me, that's a little bit, uh, a little bit irritating. You know what, I think we might just have enough money on board. New vehicle is available. It's an ambulance. Microbus. Nice. Alright, so there's only like 10,000 rubles on uh, a value on this train. But that's fine. I think that we actually did have enough money to finish it. But that's just speculation. No, we are ever so close. We are oh so close. Uh, speaking of close, are we managing to feed our population? The answer to that is barely. But barely is good enough for me, to be honest. Wow, we have so many workers waiting. We should really do something about that. Now harvesting from three fields, transporting three resources. Uh, this bus thing, this system is not working. I mean, it, it would work if I paid closer attention to it, but it's just not working. We're simply not getting, we're simply not getting anyone to work on the fields, and that's fine. That's not a big problem. That's growing, that's great. You're harvesting, you're growing, 
you're still ready to harvest. You know what? This is fine. This is good. This is actually genuinely very good. I'm still utterly surprised. Uh, let's cancel the contract, finish on our own. Fun from dollars, it's still going to cost us $60,000. That's crazy. Maybe cancelling the contract, you end up paying a penalty? It doesn't actually matter. Why? How is this happening? How is this managing to happen? It's remarkable that this has ended up being... I can't place... I, I, I mean, I was able to place a signal here before. Why am I not able to place a signal here now? This is ridiculous. This is totally, totally ridiculous. I, I cannot do anything about this. Uh, you know what? Sure. You win, video game. You win. I wanted... Oh, I, I, you know what? Even now, you have... There we go. See that? That's... That's what I've done. Sorry, how does this... Not change anything? Who honestly knows? I, I don't understand how that's the case. I don't understand how that happened. Look at that, look at... The, go, they go speeding. Like they were... Like they never should have been stopped, you know? Right, that's a nice valuable train. Goodness gracious me. Why is it so difficult? Who honestly knows? Uh, we are making money, though. We are making money, and that's the main thing. We are making iron. That's also another really important uh, point of note. And as soon as we get this building done, we can call it a day. We can be happy with ourselves. I'm honestly pretty happy with the way that this episode panned out. I'm absolutely still shocked. Absolutely still shocked that, uh, that we ended up making money. Absolutely, genuinely shocked. I think we're going to need more fields, by the way. Just as a point of note. We've got a, a bit of crop, a bit of croppage going on. But I don't think that we have the ability to... Uh, I don't think that we have the ability to constantly, like, year-round keep... Uh, keep these... Keep these harvesters in, uh, in production. That's what we're after. Hey, look, we did it. We finished it. Fantastic. Uh, so we don't have any resources. We don't have any. We don't have any coal. We don't have any iron. Let's get. Uh, let's get the trucks to do what we said that they were going to do. Load anything. Unload a hundred percent. Fine. Great. You know what? Even even with that, that puts us on a lot of money. There we go. You can be dispatched. And now we need to go up here. We need to go... Uh, uh oh, what did I... Hold on. What did I set this truck on? Crisbola truck aggregate storage. I think that's this one, right? Yeah, fine. Uh, so, now on a temporary basis, as I alluded to earlier, we're going to just uh, transport the resources from the aggregate storage to the uh, steel mill manually. I say manually, with a truck. That way, uh, we don't have to faff around with any difficulties. There we go. Perfect. So, we should now be transporting coal and iron to this place. We should also have the ability to get some buses. Uh, you are going to go as well. There we go. I need to clear all of this nonsense off here. In fact, what I should do is I should just get the two buses that I actually originally intended to do the job. So you'll take from bus platform three right over to here. Perfect. You know what? Let's get two other trucks, two other, two other buses to do the exact same route. That way we should have more than enough workers. Uh, I did say that I also wanted to get a, another train up and running. I don't know why I paused there. 
I want to buy another train. I want to buy this train. And I want to set the route of... Where is it? Where's that pesky little one carriage, single carriage? There we go. Copy that. Paste there. Start that. Beautiful. That way we should have at least somewhere near the right number of workers in order to make the uh, to make the mill work. I'm still really annoyed by this bus terminal and this bus system that we've got going on here. Honestly, I mean, we've got all of these things within are within walking distance of the station. All of the flats over here are within walking distance of the station. There is no reason why we why we still need this bus platform. It is just it is an absolute myth that we need this. To be honest, I feel like just demolishing it, honestly. Yep. You can go back to the depot. There we go. I know that leaves a massive hole in the center of town. I don't particularly care. I think it's better that we get all the workers going into the central train station anyway. This bus station is slightly different. Because there are slightly more properties that can access the bus station than can access the train station over here. But what I do want to do is at the bus platform load only workers and unload out anyone. Uh, in fact, you know what? Only do workers. In fact, you know what? At the bus platform, load workers don't unload workers. And then we want to unload 100% of workers. Let's copy that to there, 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 and all of these other ones. Right, we'll see if that makes any difference. It should mean that we're only transporting them in one direction. It means we don't have to worry about this at all. Uh, hold on. There we go. Only workers, please. No, no passengers. So you should pick up 52 workers. 47 workers, whatever. We've now got passengers building up. I don't really want to carry anyone other than workers. Do I need to worry about that? Maybe. I hope I don't. Hmm. Question mark to that one. 95 workers. I don't think any of the buses or any of the actually important infrastructure has arrived up here quite yet. I.e. we don't have coal, we don't have anything like that. Also, are we able to... What's going on here? Steel mill. Can you not get to the steel mill? Should definitely be a possibility. Maybe you need to go through the bus terminal and that's just not working out. Hmm. You know what? Let's quickly do this. See if that makes any difference. Will that make any difference? That does indeed make some difference. Okay, that's great. Hold on. You're going to the aggregate unloading. No, 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 no. You shouldn't be going to the aggregate unloading. You should be going to the aggregate loading, which is over there. Delete that. Go there. Right, so you need to go to here as well. Okay, I did the wrong loading bay. That's honestly on me. That's fine, though. That's fine. Honestly, we could do a better job. We could have a coal aggregate out store at a coal, a coal aggregate output over here somewhere, but we just don't. It's fine. I don't think it's a massively big deal. But we should have an aggregate storage over here somewhere. And we just don't at the moment. Which is pretty stupid, to be honest. Hmm. 
Well, at least we've got 25... 25 tons of the stuff in storage. Things are looking good. Yeah, and we make it so darn quickly that it doesn't actually matter. At least not yet. Alright, so that's good. Have we got workers over here yet? We've got workers. We've got workers. We've got iron. That's good. But we just need coal. Alright, let's see coal arrive and then happy days. This is the truck. This is the truck. This is the coal truck. This is the coal truck that's going to make us millions. Absolutely millions. We haven't even talked about how we're going to uh, deliver the resources. Uh, I suspect via train line, actually, since we're pretty close. But if not, truck. Truck is fine. Right. Let's have a look at this. Missing resources and buildings without power supply? Because that building is without a power supply. Really? It's like it wasn't meant to be. Well, whatever the case, uh, ladies and gents, we're gonna we're gonna finish uh, the episode up here. In the next episode, we're going to be moving ahead at great pace with our steel production. We're gonna be shipping it off to uh, the border, and we're gonna be making a heck of a lot of money. Uh, but we'll be doing that in the next episode, ladies and gents. Thank you very very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. I'll see you next time. Bye.